Yeah, and then the weekend, it does get a little dicey. We've got showers rolling. We've got a round three. It's been a wet week, I know. Uh, and unfortunately, rain gear is going to have to be ready again for any plans you've got going on Saturday afternoon and evening. How about this, though? I love the look out there. It's nice to see the sun. There's the view right now from Lower Manhattan. See Governor's Island, Statue of Liberty, and you can see for miles. There's a Verrazano Bridge as well. And, you know, it's nice to see the sun, but it's nice to feel the sun, too. If you've been out there, you know exactly what I mean. That 52 feels so pleasant. It's dry for now. We know we don't keep it that way, so be ready to get that umbrella going. So it's a break in the action today. There is another round of heavy rain for your Saturday afternoon and evening. It comes with not just rain, but gusty winds that could gust up to 45, even higher in spots. And because we're so saturated, there is a flooding threat that we've got to note, too. At the moment, temps upper 40s, low 50s. You know, it's not all that bad. An onshore wind keeping it a little bit cooler along the coast in New Jersey. 53, though, in Edison may climb another couple of degrees. I know there are some high clouds, but, you know, overall, this is the best weather by far we've had this week. So enjoy it as we ride it on through sunset, which is just before 6 p.m. today, tomorrow. Then Sunday, we push it to just before 7 p.m. as we get ready to switch the clocks. Anything you're doing outside, though, should be fine with weather, not an impact. So we wake up your Saturday. We're okay. We're dry. It's cloudy. But yeah, you can get some outdoor things done for a few hours. That changes. Watch this. This is 1230. Notice you're still dry in the city. You're dry Westchester. You're dry Long Island. But we got some light rain moving in, and it gets a little bit heavier as we work ahead towards about 2 o'clock. And, and that's really the story. By evening time 6 30 right here you don't want to be caught without the umbrellas anything you're doing in the evening time it's coming down moderate to heavy rain a big disruption by just after midnight the low is pulling away so we're improving on sunday but we got a lot of clouds it's damp the wind may blow in a passing shower or a flake up to the north overall we don't need any more rain but can we collect another inch inch and a half in spots notice this time it looks like compared to the last system that could see some bigger totals north and west of the city we'll watch for that flooding risk is not zero it's low rivers are doing okay but they'll stay elevated with any additional rainfall we see remember we've already gotten upwards of three inches just this month in terms of the winds that is an element to this storm that i that i want you to remember so by evening time we're turning in a wind out of the east that's blowing anywhere 40 50 mile an hour gusts it stays with us during the day sunday it lightens up a bit but you're feeling it during the day and then it gets stronger the low pulls away high pressure tries to build and you're talking winds 40 to 50 heading into monday night so unfortunately there is a risk here that we're potentially knocking down trees there could be a risk for power outages and it wouldn't be surprised if we did issue uh, or see the national weather service issue a wind advisory with this event so after we get through all that then the payoff next week looks fantastic. We've got sunshine just about every day. It is cold to start. We got 30s, but we rebound nicely. Head for the 60s by the middle of the week. Mary. All right, looks good. Thanks so much, Tony.